what's up YouTube? Welcome to the Lace Up channel. Today we're going to be discussing a topic that a lot of the distributors we work with ask about on a daily basis. That topic is assembly items. What is an assembly item? Well an assembly item is an item that you are manufacturing. To manufacture you have to pull some items off your shelf, put them together, and end up with a completely new item. The end result of this assembly item is that your raw items or the items used to build your assembly item will decrease in inventory and your finished product or the assembly item itself will increase in inventory. If you look here on the screen I'm looking at an assembly item called chocolate chip cookie 30 pack. This is an assembly item that I've created in QuickBooks. You can see here in my item list. Every single assembly item has something called a bill of materials. The bill of materials are the ingredients or the parts that are going to be taken from your warehouse to build, or in this case, bake the assembly item. My chocolate chip cookie 30 pack contains two eggs, 2.25 cups of flour, 0.75 cups of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and 0.5 cups of unsalted butter. This means that when I produce one of these items, these ingredients will all decrease in their inventory. So you may be asking yourself, how do you produce this item? That's very simple. You're going to go to manufacturing and wholesale. You're going to go to inventory activities. And you're going to go to build assemblies. Once inside the build assembly, you're going to do a couple things. First and foremost, you're going to select what item you're going to be producing. In this case, the chocolate chip cookies 30 pack. Next, you want to select what inventory site the finished good is going to go to. This is the inventory site in which the on hand for this product will increase. In the case of this demo, we're going to do the main warehouse. It asks me, are the default components to the same side as the finished assembly. Remember, when we build the assembly item, the inventory assembly on hand is going to increase and the on hand for my component items will decrease. So in this case, I'm going to select yes. And if you see, it's filled out the site for each component item. Next, I'm going to determine how many of the chocolate chip cookies 30 packs I want to produce. In the case of this example, I'm going to produce 50. Now keep in mind that I currently have one of these in stock. Now I'm going to add 50. Not only that, but each component item is going to decrease by each respective quantity needed. When I'm done, I'm going to click build and close at which point my total quantity on hand is going to increase from 1 to 51 and the inventory for my component items also decreased by the amount that I showed you. Hey, thank you for watching the latest installment on the Lace of YouTube channel. For daily tutorials and videos, subscribe down below. Thank you and we'll see you next time.